He is known for elevating the status of his kingdom from a regional center subordinate to Rome into a formidable state in the Near East. He commanded the Palmyrene army and defeated the Persians, reclaiming Roman lands occupied by them. His name is Septimius Odienathus. In the annals of ancient history, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Septimius Odienathus, the founder king of the Palmyrene kingdom. Born into an aristocratic Palmyrene family, Odienathus rose to prominence and transformed his kingdom from a regional center subordinate to Rome into a formidable state in the Near East. His journey to power began in the 240s when he became the lord of the city of Palmyra, a position specially created for him. By 258, he held the esteemed title of Consularis, signifying his high status in the Roman Empire. Odienathus's pivotal moment came in 260 when Emperor Valerian was defeated and captured by the Persian Emperor Shapurai. With the eastern Roman provinces vulnerable, Odienathus chose to side with Rome. Taking on the title of king, he led the Palmyrene army and launched a successful preemptive strike against the Persians, inflicting a significant defeat upon them. He aligned himself with Emperor Gallienus, who was facing a rebellion led by Fulvius Macrianus, declaring his sons emperors. Odienathus swiftly quelled the rebellion, earning him numerous exceptional titles from Emperor Gallienus. This solidified his position as a dominant force in the east, although the extent of the emperor's involvement remains unclear. Undeterred by his previous successes, Odienathus embarked on a series of campaigns from 262 onwards. He crossed the Euphrates and reclaimed Roman territories occupied by the Persians since 252, including Cary and Nisibis. Pushing further into Persia, Odienathus reached the capital, Ctesiphon, although he was unable to breach its walls. Nevertheless, he emerged victorious, reclaiming all the Roman lands lost to the Persians. As a testament to his triumphs, he declared himself king of kings and crowned his son Herodianus as co-king. By 263, Odienathus held effective control over the Levant, Roman Mesopotamia, and the eastern region of Anatolia. Despite his independent rule, Odienathus maintained a respectful relationship with the emperor. In 266, he launched a second invasion of Persia but had to abandon the campaign to defend the city of Heraclea Pontica against Germanic raiders. Tragically, Odienathus and his son Herodianus were assassinated in 267, during or shortly after the Anatolian campaign. The identities of the perpetrators or instigators remain unknown, giving rise to various stories, accusations, and speculations in ancient sources. Odienathus was succeeded by his son Babalathus, under the regency of his widow Zenobia, who would go on to establish the Palmyrene Empire in 270, utilizing the power and influence Odienathus had forged. In the year 244, the Roman Emperor Gordian III met his demise during a campaign against Persia. This event marked the beginning of a new chapter for Palmyra, as they elected a lord to defend their city. The chosen one was Odienathus, a man of great military prowess and a descendant of one of the most influential families in Palmyra. Odienathus' title as lord was Ras in Palmyrene and Exarchos in Greek, granting him supreme civil and military authority. Odienathus wasted no time in strengthening the Palmyrene army. As early as the 240s, he recruited desert nomads and expanded the number of Palmyrene heavy cavalry. This move proved crucial in the face of the impending threat from the Persian emperor, Shapur I. In 252, Shapur I launched a full-scale invasion of the Roman provinces in the east. His conquest of Antioch, the traditional capital of Syria, sent shockwaves throughout the region. However, Shapur I's advance was halted in 253 by a noble from Emesa named Uranius Antoninus. It is believed that during this time, Odienathus, referred to as Enathus in historical accounts, inflicted a defeat upon the retreating Persian forces near the Euphrates. Though there is some confusion surrounding the exact timeline of these events, it is clear that Odienathus emerged as a formidable leader against the Persian invaders. Shapur I retaliated by destroying Palmyrene trade colonies along the Euphrates. Anna fell in 253, while Duryuropos suffered the same fate in 256. Odienathus attempted to negotiate with Shapur I in order to protect Palmyrene interests. However, his efforts were met with rejection, as the gifts he sent to the Persians were callously thrown into the river. The exact date of these negotiations is a topic of debate among scholars, but it is evident that Odienathus was determined to defend his city against the Persian onslaught. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.